Swedish EV car maker Polestar today unveiled the Polestar 4, a new electric SUV coupe. The 4 will be the company's fastest production car to date and, oddly enough, will fit in between the Polestar 2 and Polestar 3 in price and size. According to the company, the Polestar 4's design pays particular attention to passenger comfort, including headroom. As part of a new, quote, immersive rear occupant experience, the company cut out the rear window. Passengers are, quote, cocooned in an intimate environment, which, with reclining seats, doesn't sound half bad. The company also has adjustable ambient lighting inspired by the solar system. Aerodynamics are improved with a low nose, retractable door handles, frameless window, and rear aero blades. The car can go 0 to 60 in less than 3.8 seconds with a max power output of 544 horsepower. The car also has a full-length glass roof with optional electrochromic functionality, which lets the driver choose between opaque or transparent settings. Since the company nixed the rear window, the glass roof stretches beyond the passenger seats. Instead of a rear view mirror, the driver uses a high depth screen streaming a real time feed from a roof mounted rear camera. It can also see into the back seat so you can still try to figure out what those kids are doing in their cocooned intimate environment. The car is built to be more sustainable. The internal materials are more recyclable and sourced from recycled materials. For example, the floor carpets are partially made of reclaimed fishing nets and vinyl made from pine oil instead of crude oil. The Polestar 4 will start at about $60,000 US and is built on Geely's sustainable experience architecture with a large body and long wheelbase. The company was founded in 1996 by a Volvo partner that was acquired by the company in 2015. If you remember, Geely bought Volvo back in 2010. Polestar 4 will first launch in China with production beginning in November 2023. The Geely owned production facility reportedly operates on 100% renewable electricity. So that's good. And the company's CEO today told Reuters it will start production in South Carolina next year to serve both US and European markets. I'm David Manti, this is IN Now.